Welcome back to the program. If you're just joining us, this is a Checkpoint right here on KT. And now troubles are facing St. Mary's Mission Hospital in Elementite and Nakuru County appear far from over. A man claiming ownership of the parcel of land in Elementite now says he will move to court to challenge a recent court order. Brian Obuya now reports on the dispute pitting nuns of the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi Order and a Catholic priest, calm doctor, that has left people uh, injured, hospitals vandalized, and vehicles torched. For the past few days, the country has been treated to ugly scenes at St. Mary's Mission Hospital following a hostile takeover by the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi. All this began when the nuns won a court case over the ownership of the Catholic hospital, which is also being claimed by Reverend William Frieder. From the onset, it was clear that the battle over the facility that is supposed to help the poor was going to be titanic when the Catholic priest, William Frieder, appealed Justice Munyao ruling, which handed the facility to the nuns. The tussle for the property worth roughly one billion in element Aita has cost a storm. KTN is in possession of a letter written to the Deputy Inspector General of Police on the 5th day of January 2018. The letter written by Wanja Wambugu and company advocates appears to accuse the Nakuru County Commander Joshan Kanada and Police Commander Hassan Barua of failing to help in the implementation of a court order that seeks to install a new management at the elemental ITA facility. Wambugu and company advocates in their letter say their agent had a meeting with the Nakuru County commander and they had agreed that the elemental ITA hospital management was to be taken over on the fifth day of this month. Unfortunately, they say that on the 4th of January of 2018, at around 7 p.m. in the evening, the county commander, despite committing himself to oversee the operation, informed their agent that he will not proceed with the exercise because he had been served with orders from the Nairobi Labor Court in case number two of 2018. A glance at that court order granted by Lady Justice Maureen Onyango, which is in our position, granted immunity to workers at the hospital but did not prevent the new management from taking over. The order read that the respondents are restrained from terminating the employment of the applicants or in any other way interfering with their employment. The respondents were restrained from evicting the applicants from the premises and further from recruiting new staff to replace the applicants pending the hearing of the case. The idea was Dr. Frieda and the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi claim ownership of the piece of land in Elementaita. But an Akuru businessman, Joseph Ngera, in what could be the next episode of this battle, is now staking claim of the same parcel of land which he says he donated for the construction of the hospital years ago. I'm moving to court to have that decision uh, reviewed because obviously it was a bad decision to give my rad to an entity or to the sisters who I had not given. It's not in their name. And I'm soon, go I'm even going to court mm. to challenge the, the judgment. I'd like to thank each and every person who has stood by us during these challenging times when a small group of people are attempting to grab our hospitals and change the management style back to an imposed system from outside. No, 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 no. That's not what the donors wanted. That's certainly not what I created. Two sides of the warring groups have now formed and continue to be much more evident. There are those who are supporting River and Frieda, those accused of working with goons to disrupt operations at the hospital. And then there are those who are in support of the new management, in support of the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi. But as Rangel's anxiety and panic continue to be experienced at the St. Mary's Hospital, authorities here, those of the old management, say everything is okay. The staffs are back to their duties as usual, and uh, 
We are still seeing patients. We are still getting an in out patients, and they are being served uh, as they have always been served. The remaining story to be told is why men of God will engage in a never ending court battle for more than a decade over a church facility that is to serve the poor, but to the contrary, has left them in 